So I learned in medical school that over time, kidney function goes down with age. But what I've found in my protocol is that's not the case because I've worked with 80 something year olds whose kidney function went right back to normal once they got rid of all the animal products and did hypernourishment. Regarding people who have healed diseases um, with diets, like the carnivore diet, um, there's a few things. I mean, number one, uh, any diet that's better than what you're doing before is going to improve your health, at least short term, right? So if you were eating a diet that was high in meat, but also high in dairy and processed junk food, right? And then you switched, you took out the processed food and you took out the dairy and only ate the meat, that's actually an improvement. And so people can have uh, symptomatic improvements from just eliminating the things that were creating even more inflammation. So it's, a, it's still an inflammatory diet because of the high animal product intake from the meat, but it's less inflammatory than it was with meat and dairy and processed junk. So that's one thing. It's not that the only way to bring down inflammation is to do the goodbye lupus protocol, goodbye autoimmune disease protocol. Any step you take in that direction is going to improve your symptoms. Now, the problem with doing something like the carnivore diet is that humans aren't carnivores. And in fact, when we have high intake of animal products, so high intake of meat, uh, and, and as well as dairy and other things, uh, you raise your risk of cancer. World Health Organization has, you know, meat listed as carcinogen, right? That is the research done over throughout the world, the consensus of scientists throughout the whole world, right? So that processed meats like hot dogs, bacon, um, processed meats like bologna, all that kind of stuff, they are in the same category of carcinogen as asbestos and cigarettes. And then all other meat is one category below it, mean likely carcinogens, but less evidence than processed meat, right? So you have an increased risk to cancer, increased risk of heart attack. It's going to make you more insulin resistant, although folks think that they're not insulin resistant on it because they're not eating any fruit anymore. But if they do, uh, their markers get worse. I've had a lot of people who went to that diet and thought that they got rid of their diabetes and they ate a banana that was through the roof and we actually reversed the disease eating plant-based. So. I'm always happy, first of all, for anyone who feels better with any diet that they choose. I am not trying to uh, sell people on anything. That's why I do this work for free. That's why I'm with you right now for free. I'm not trying to sell people on anything. I'm trying to save people's lives and help them live better and healthier and happier. And if you manage to do that with a less extreme program than I'm telling you to do, I am so happy. So that's number one. If you switch your diet and it's a meat-based diet and you're doing better, I'm really happy for you. But I do want to caution you because of the risk. The other risk is to your kidneys. So eating meat and even eggs, other animal products, puts kidneys into hyperfiltration and it causes extreme stress. Um, I just saw someone last week who uh, her doctor told her, well, she was looking into what should I do for autoimmune disease? And she found like the autoimmune paleo, which is not carnivore because there's still a lot of plant foods in it, a lot of vegetables in it, but it also in included a high level of meat. And she was already eating plant-based and had maintained her kidney function at about 75% for years eating a plant-based diet. That wasn't my diet, but just a plant-based diet. She had maintained kidney function at 75%, but still had symptoms of autoimmune disease and she wanted to be better. And so she found these other doctors on the internet who said, you need to add in the meat, the free range, and it's gonna help you. You gotta do this autoimmune paleo diet. She added the meat in, she followed exactly what they told her to do. And she came to me with her kidney function, her GFR of five. She lost seven, over 70% of her kidney function because of the meat. And now I have to help her rebuild her kidneys because it's toxic. So if you are a healthy person, the toxicity to the kidneys happens over time. So I learned in medical school that over time, kidney function goes down with age. But what I've found in my protocol is that's not the case because I've worked with 80 something year olds whose kidney function went right back to normal once they got rid of all the animal products and did hypernourishment. So there are short term results you can get with many different plans. And again, I celebrate any positive results people get, but there is an extremely high risk to your long term health when you're eating an exclusively meat diet. Uh, it's just really dangerous for people in the long term. So I do caution people uh, for that reason. Mm -hmm.